What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video we have great news for those of you on iOS 16.4 and lower. The Pelrain jailbreak has received an important update and it fixes a lot of stuff, introduces a lot of new features and stuff like that. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyLock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode if you forgot it, bypass MDM and even remove SimLock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know the Pelrain jailbreak is a jailbreak that is based on the Checkmate exploit and it does support iOS 15.0 up to 16.3, possibly even 16.3.1, and they are currently working to get 16.4 support as well. So this jailbreak does support most of the latest versions available of iOS. Now this jailbreak is of course completely open source, and it's available over here, as I said, 16.3.1 and lower support. And this is basically the jailbreak that replaces Checkrain. Now today we've got an update, the version 2.0.0 for the Pelrain C, which is basically the replacement for the initial Pelrain jailbreak. Now if you're still using the old Pelrain, you know the bash script Pelrain, you should definitely migrate to the Pelrain C, which is basically a C rewrite of Pelrain, and it's much better, it's actually what the developers of Pelrain currently recommend you to use. Now the version 2.0.0 beta 5 has a pretty big changelog over here, removed Pelrain droplet from title, added user space reboot option, and many other things in here. It also fixes the kernel patch finder to no longer crash on 16.4, so this is basically to add support for iOS 16.4, they're currently working on it, but Pelrain still doesn't work on 16.4 at the moment, so you should keep that in mind, but you should definitely go ahead and update. Apparently there are two edits in here, fixed USB MOXD dependency in the deb, and iOS builds now actually have the iOS binaries, not the macOS ones. So yeah, but you should definitely not try this on iOS 16.4 at the moment, it does say in here that attempting to do so will cause an infinite loop trying to mount the rootfs, so they're still working on getting the Pelrain jailbreak to work on 16.4. However, 16.3.1 and lower, all the way down to 15.0, is supposed to work fine, and tweaks are also working. Now, as you could see at the beginning of the video from here on their website, it only supports A8 through A11 devices, which means iPhone 10 and lower. The iPhone 12, 13, 14, iPhone 11, iPhone XS Max, and stuff like that, those are not supported. Unfortunately, those do not have a jailbreak for iOS 16.3, 16.2, 16.0 at the moment. But if you're running on a slightly older device, like an iPhone 10, or 8 or 8 plus or 7 or 7 plus, Pelrain is definitely compatible and it does support tweaks. So that's actually quite great. But I do definitely recommend you to use the Pelrain C rewrite which is available over here. Pelrain is considered pretty stable at the moment but you should keep in mind that it's still a jailbreak in development. So there might still be bugs. Apparently in this update they also added an update to tools and SSH server in the built-in bin pack which is important especially if you use SSH a lot. But yeah overall this is an important update and you should definitely go ahead and update your Pelrain, especially if you're using an older version of Pelrain, like the bash script versions, the initial versions, definitely go ahead and update right now. They also updated their website now, you have the downloads available over here and it brings you to the download for macOS and stuff like that, the full documentation and whatever. So that's actually nice, you can see in here the changelog as well for the latest version, the 2.0.0 beta 5. There is no official Windows version at the moment, so if you use a Windows computer, you will have to actually dual boot a Linux machine. And and use the Linux version. So yeah, it's available officially for macOS and Linux at the moment. So that's basically it, an update is now available for this jailbreak, iOS 15.0 up to 16.3.1 on A11 and lower devices, so definitely check it out. Thank you for watching, I'm GSNow, peace out.